Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a starter kit. Something I do actually know something about. Um, for almost three years I worked in a vape shop and during that time I, I lost count how many starter kits I sold. Little Ego batteries, little Vision spinners and so on and Oh, there's so many and I think, you know, when I started working in a vape shop, that's when things were just going crazy in the vape market and you, there was queues going out the door, I kid you not, and people, you were just going through the same spiel time and time again, explaining to people how e-cigs worked, PGVG, battery consumption, you know, coil consumption, everything. So... I think this is actually the first time I've done one of these little devices in quite some time. Now, as always, I'll cover everything in the close-ups and the summary at the end, but it's a 1000 milliamp hour battery. It is variable wattage. You can turn the power up and down. It has a 1.6 ohm coil in it and the tank holds 2 ml of juice. Everything else, show you down below. So, the Enneken Gem, uh, this is what it will come like. This is brand new, I've just taken the cellophane off this one and this is the usual presentation for an Inokin product. Taking the sleeve off, we then open this up and ba-boom, here we go. In the accessory side you will find a USB charging cable, you will find spare o-rings if you ever wear any of the o-rings out. You'll find a little pamphlet with uh, some battery information and uh, your warranty and safety information. But as a new user, I would strongly suggest that you have a good look at this here. This gives you all the information that you will need to get up and running with this device. And on the back, it shows all the colours that the device will come in. On the other side, you have all your gubbins. Now, we'll start with the actual battery itself. So, this is 1000 milliamp hours. Now, for your person that's coming from cigarettes to electronic cigarettes, I would say that this would get a 20 a day smoker through the vast majority of a day. It would certainly get you through a working day and the evening. That however depends on what power output you set it to. So if I push the button three times here, this is your fire button, one, two, three, you can see that right now pushing that I get a green flashing light. It's flashing because there is no tank on the top. But this will change colour. It will go from green to amber to red and that gives you your battery state. You can also push the up and down button here and this takes you through different power outputs. The higher the output the more e-liquid you're going to go through and the warmer the vape will be. And I would recommend always that when you put your coil in at the beginning, turn this right down until you have broken your coil in. But I'll cover that in a second. Now the numbers that you see here, I will say to most people that don't worry about the numbers that are on here, I would recommend that you do what we call adjusting to taste. So start down the bottom, try vaping away. If it doesn't suit you, put it up a level and just adjust it to taste. When you push the fire button three times again, one, two, three, that is going to switch the device off. When you're putting this in your pocket, I would strongly suggest that you always lock it before you put it back in your pocket. On the base, you have a USB charge point. I'm not a huge fan of having the charger on the bottom, but when lying this down with a full tank on it, I didn't get any leaking at all. We have gem written here, which it, it is quite stylish and it is quite nice, this device. The tank, when this arrives, it will hold two millilitres of juice. To put the coil in it, you just unscrew the base like this and that pops out. So what you're going to do when you first get this is I would strongly suggest that you get your e-liquid and you put a little drop of e-liquid on each hole going round here and put three or four drops in here. This is full of cotton. You want to make sure that this is saturated before you push the fire button on your device. I am pleased to see that you can unscrew this and you can take this tank to bits. It does come with spare glass, which is a definite bonus. And all the O-rings that I showed you early, this is what they are for. You, know, you can change the O-rings in here and here. But you should never really have to worry about this unless you break the glass. So I'll pop the coil back in here and what you would do is you would just pour your juice down the outside, not down the centre hole, but the outside of here. Once you've done that, you'll then screw this top cap back on 
like so, and then you're pretty much good to vape. I would strongly advise that you leave this to sit for 10 minutes before you actually start vaping with it, and once again, turn your battery down to its lowest setting before you start. You'll see here that you have adjustable airflow, so you just adjust this to suit the type of vape that you want. Do you know, it's good practice to actually take the tank off and fill the tank off the device. But if you don't want to do that, then please hold on to the tank tight when you're screwing this top cap back down, because you're not wanting to keep tightening the tank onto the battery. It always happens, we used to see it in the vape shop all the time, is where people could not get their tank off their device. It was because they kept tightening the top cap down and it was binding this tank onto the battery. It's up to you, but every once in a while I would make sure that this is nice and loose. My apologies, I forgot to say, you do get two coils with this device. You get a spare one as well, and it's about £10 for a pack of five. They are cancel coils. With this little device, I don't have much in the way of issues at all. I mean, it is variable voltage and it will, you can uh, close it down. You can have quite a tight draw on it. Maybe not what old timers like myself would call true mouth to lung, but even having half one ear hole open, it's not the tightest draw I've ever come across, but you can open it right up as well and have a really restricted lung hit. I mean, I'm at 13 watts just now. I've got all the air holes open and this is a heavy VG liquid. So you can, you can give it some beans with this thing and it will keep up. The coils, this coil's a week and a half old and it's fine. I've no, it's no issues with it at all. I can go through eight, possibly ten mils in a day uh, on the middle setting on this, and the battery will still have a bit of life in it at the end of the day. So I think that's really good, and I am impressed with this how this keeps up. I like the fact that you can top fill it. Uh, I like the fact I can adjust the wattage. You can lock it. it it's nice looking. It comes in different colours. I don't like the charging port on the bottom. I'm never a fan of that. I like to be able to stand my mods up. But even with it lying on its side, I've not found that it leaks at all. Uh, you know, so I don't really... Yeah, it's a niggle on my part, but it's not a deal breaker. Do you know, I would quite happily give this to somebody to help them stop smoking. And I, I think it really would be up to the job, no bother at all. Uh, if this can last me all day, go through 10 mil of juice, then at the, the middle setting, then yeah, it's not half bad this, not half bad at all. Uh, thank you to Inikin for sending this on, I did get it free to review, and to you guys as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye for now.